in order to keep the ISO image very small on the Curator Community Edition, very many of the DSM, of the parsers that we normally find in Curator, are not by default in the ISO image for CE. But that's not a problem, and this video will show you how you can add those that uh, you may need. So for example, if we go here on the admin tab into log sources, after, right after install installation, we don't have any, any logs, not even auto discovered. Uh, and if we click here, even on add, we see that we no longer have the huge list that Curator has out of the box. For example, if we look for, these are the ones that comes on CE, but if we look into uh, Windows logs, Windows event logs, they are not here. But again, uh, that's actually trivially easy to install. So you need to go into Fix Central and select, you know, Curator SIM 7.3 is the Community Edition version. You click uh, Continue and then you click here Text and then you specify what software are you looking for. So and this is the DSM that we are interested in, so let's download uh, that. Once we have the file downloaded, we're going to use FileZilla again to, you know, do a secure FTP into the, the machine, the curator box. We go into the TMP directory. Notice that we have the ISO from the installation. We, we no longer this, need this one, so we can actually delete it. We don't have to, but uh, why keeping it? And all you need to do is the drag and drop that file in here. So that was quick. It's a small file. Now you log in into the Curator console and you are in the TMP directory and you're going to install it by going jump install and I'm going to put DSM asterisk. Let's see if that uh, should be able to find it with that. Yeah, that's the only one in there. Is this okay? Yes. And it's going to do the, in the installation. It's actually fairly quick, but I'm going to pause the video just to keep the video short. Oops. So the installation is complete. All we have to do is go back to the console, and the console itself is going to tell us, if we scroll to the top, that there are deployed changes. You need to deploy the changes. In general, every time you deploy a new DSM, a new parser, uh, you need to deploy uh, the changes. Now we're going to go to the log activity. And sometimes you get a lot of uh, messaging in here, health metric information. If you want to filter those, what you need to do is click here on the pause button. And then you can right click on any one of these uh, messages and select the second option and that will put a temporary filter so you don't get to see those uh, messages so you go back to here and select option real-time streaming so now we don't have all those distracting messages up so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to bring a Windows 7 machine app uh, that is gonna that is being set up to send logs to curator more on that in a, in a later video and you'll see how those um, logs, when they begin to get to Curator, they're going to become, uh, you see, this is uh, the source, source IP12, which is the, the same Curator uh, box. But we will see that is the 212 is the machine with the Windows logs are. And typically what you see when the logs are first sent into Curator, as you see, here's the first one, see, unknown log event, you see that there? That means that Curator doesn't know how to parse it because Curator waits until it gets a couple of those logs to make sure that these are not a one-off, that is something that is really want to send logs to Curator. And after a couple of them, Curator is said, okay, then I know these are Windows logs, I know how to recognize them, and they are going to be uh, out to uh, discover. And now you see, coming from the same 212, how they measure the, the logs are nicely parsed. Uh, if you, in fact, if you go to the admin tab where we have no log sources before, we have our first one, which are the Windows logs. 
and uh, as you see here in the auto discover column you get a true because they, you, you didn't have to do anything uh, for Curator to, uh, to discover again we have to install that DSM because the CE doesn't have those by default but as you saw this is very easy to keep adding to your community edition image